Hey guys, uh, as I promised uh, in the last video, uh, I have come back with uh, a way to show you uh, the application of um, a variable gain amplifier. Uh, as you recall, we have designed a fully um, variable gain uh, differential amplifier uh, based on the Art of Electronics Chapter 2, um, uh, Question 6, if I recall correctly and uh, we've implemented the variable gain uh, amplifier correctly we've done a few measurements on it and uh, the measurements agreed some with some of the calculated uh, uh, values that we got from our analysis and design of the the circuit now i'm here to show you the how you can apply such a variable gain amplifier to uh, real world circuits for example uh, the application that I'm going uh, I'm going to show you today is going to be in the uh, in the uh, in the field of communications, uh, particularly AM AM uh, modulation, uh, a way to transmit uh, information through amplitude modulation. And uh, a way to do it is basically, uh, as we have designed, the only modification to uh, to allow us to use uh, this circuit as an AM modulation circuit is to uh, basically attach uh, an AC source uh, that will modulate the uh, the signal here. So if we call this uh, carrier, so I'm going to call it this uh, V uh, uh, carrier. So I'm going to call it VCR here, and this is the control voltage VC. So VC is going to modulate VCR uh, based on uh, how much amplitude uh, this uh, controlling voltage has. And uh, in order to modulate it correctly, what I have done is I have barely turned on this transistor. Just basically what I've done is I put this guy just on the verge of turn on. So if we do that, then this uh, voltage is going to be something 0 0.6, something al along that line. And what we, that enables us is whenever the signal goes above zero, uh, it will turn on this. Uh, basically, it will it will turn on this transistor, allowing current to flow, and that current will basically control the gain of this amplifier. And that gain will, depending on the signal, it will get modulated at the frequency of this uh, uh, controlling voltage. So essentially what we'll have is the classic AM signal where if we didn't have any modulation, the signal would have been constant, right? But the moment we apply the controlling signal, so this will be, this is what uh, VCR uh, would have been, you know, by the time we get the output here. So basically what I'm doing is this will be the output, the differential output right after the second stage. So if we call this uh, VR, VCR2, so this will be VCR2. So it will get modulated. So if we call this plus 15, minus 15, that's what's going to happen. Obviously, this amplitude will depend on the amplitude of this. So it might we might not reach plus 15, minus 15, but this is for an example. But the moment we apply this controlling voltage, it's going to modulate this at... At the require at the frequency of the modulation, which is the carrier, the uh, controlling voltage. So what we'll have is basically your classic AM signal. And depending on the amplitude of VC, that will control our modulation index, which is the the ratio between the highest peak and the lowest peak of this modulated signal so uh, so let me just show you a quick demonstration of what I mean so um, here I have at the at the top here uh, I have my signal uh, this is the carrier my carrier for example right now is at 600 kilohertz uh, I made that at 600 kilohertz because I want to use it to transmit AM signal so uh, in fact, in a moment, I will transmit, uh, 
an audio signal to the uh, radio you see here which is uh, basically uh, it will be an AM receiver for us for this case so uh, basically now as you can see it's uh, 600 kilohertz and its amplitude is if we go amplitude it's uh, 80 millivolts pick to pick so that is our carrier at 600 volts and for testing purposes to begin with I have this modulating source so this modulating source will go here and get applied to the control input as you can see this will be I'm actually AC coupling it through a, a large capacitor so we'll modulate it basically and there you go this is the our potentiometer that sets our bias for the for the if I bring you here for this guy basically for this guy so that resistor is that and this is the source the carrier the sorry the controlling voltage which is the modulating source will be this guy right now as you can see we'll see it on this analog scope and there's no modulation so as you can see it's just flat and I could zoom in but since I don't have it triggered the tr the trigger source is from this guy which will be in synchronized with the modulation source so I have I have it but you can see here that there's barely any modulation you can see it's uh, it's pretty much constant the only wiggle you see is because the um, the basically the output is you know it's not really that stable so that's why you see that wiggle but there's no any modulation source because it's set to zero so I can modulate it using any frequency I want so for example right now I have it at 1.2 kilohertz so what I'll do is the moment I bring up the amplitude app uh, the signal will get modulated you know up and down up and down at the frequency of the control signal and uh, for your information uh, there is the on the biasing on that uh, current source transistor so this current source is barely turned on so just at the verge of turn on so you can see so and uh, so that's basically it and uh, there you go and this will be our controlling voltage that's where the bias is basically with respect to ground and uh, so let's go ahead and apply the modulation so if you take a look here so as I just take a look at that source for example so what I'll do is I'll make it bigger so it will be visible so the moment I bring up the signal the modulating source so take a look so now it's only one millivolt there you go now nicely going there we go now it's as you can see we're modulating it nicely there's your classic a modulated signal put that down and reduce the intensity because it comes out really uh, strong on camera so here we go so as you can see now I'm modulating my source uh, sorry I'm modulating my carrier right now it had a flat gain but now because our gain is getting varied by that controlled uh, source which is the current source here so basically this is varying so just basically modulating this and as you can see the modulating frequency is 1.2 kilohertz I can lower that to say you can see here as it varies so as I vary that you can see the modulating source so let's say let's put it 1 kilohertz somewhere there and you can see this when you get really close now you can see it getting modulated this is the carrier getting modulated which is basically we're monitoring it here so we're monitoring one leg of this to ground with respect to actually we're monitoring the the difference sorry we're mo monitoring the difference here and as you can see it's getting modulated nicely and uh, right now I'm actually transmitting because I have this uh, antenna here hooked up to here at the output so basically I'm um, hooked up this basically there's one wire here there's an antenna wire just going like that so if you want just follow this wire this wire goes right here up through there coupled to that through a long wire going around 
going through there going through there basically going like that so that's where I'm uh, that's my antenna so let's go ahead and hear the AM receiver on my radio here on my tiny old radio here you can see the source is uh, you can see the frequency is around 600 kilohertz this on the AM dial and as you can see I have the radio turned on to the there you go I have it turned on to the AM and it's a radio so now if I increase my volume on this you can see the one kilohertz carrier sorry one kilohertz audio tone and what I'll do is while you hear it should be loud enough to be heard okay now what we'll do is while that's disturbing us let's go ahead and change we change this this is what I'm doing you can hear now that's the application of a variable gain amplifier to communications it has a really nice frequency response actually I'm really amazed we can go all the way up this is around 5 kilohertz as you can see and we can still hear it okay so that's the application of uh, variable gain amplifier to communication what I'll do now is I'm gonna transmit actually an audio signal through the through this circuit basically this AM modulated uh, the circuits helping us to modulate so what I'll do is I'll just turn this down because this is very loud and what I'll do is I have my computer here set up so what I'll do is I'll play some music and as you can see my computer is coupled here through here here is the wire the wire goes underneath here and it comes here so it's not hooked up so this is my audio source so what I'll do is I'll remove this guy this is where my source is so that was my test signal that I was using basically that guy there so now what we'll do is we'll transmit actually a song so we'll play music through our AM transmitter so let's go increase the volume since source is turned off you can see a hiss you can hear a hiss because we don't have any audio source so now what I'll do is I'll play a music here just some royalty free music okay so now we're transmitting playing the music Okay, let's go take a look. There you go. Our getting there we go. So there we go. Just Okay, I hope you enjoyed uh, this uh, a way to use uh, a variable gain amplifier for uh, communication purposes. So this is just a crude way that you can see uh, this whole setup, but it works really good. It transmits the sound isn't terrible. Okay.
Take care. I'll see you next time.